Please join me in welcoming Dr. Christy McQuaid into the Academy of Excellence. I should start by thanking Reverend Sauters for telling me to score the game. Because no one at our table uh, either had a smartphone or was willing to look. And I, I guess I should say, too, that I'm sure I'm not the only one here who feels like showing up tonight instead of watching the game shows just how much you really love the country. So, um, first I should just thank my parents, um, who aren't here, but uh, for instilling in me a sense of responsibility. Um, uh, told me to set goals and to make sure that I achieve, uh, achieve them myself, and but always, most importantly, to remain humble about that, okay? So that's something that I feel like McKendry also underscored for me, and that was really um, important. Uh, the most important group of people that I would like to thank tonight are all of the faculty who I had in all of my classes. And it only took me about a year or so, McKendry, to recognize that I wanted to have that job. I knew very early on that that was the life I wanted to lead, and so, um, and, and that's what I did. And there are just a few faculty uh, in particular that I would like to thank. One of those is Dr. Myron Reese, who showed me how um, in, impeccable lecturing can really change um, the outlook of a student um, on a topic. For example, I changed my major to chemistry because of him. Um, secondly, Dr. Dick McGuire, who showed me that um, enthusiasm from the instructor can, again, affect students so positively, something that I really try to um, use in my classroom. Dr. Ted Anderson, one of the most wonderful people you would ever know, who uh, I'm sure some of you know as well, who did a lot for me, and uh, one thing I would mention is really introduced me to the concept of research and helped me obtain research opportunities. Um, that led me down the road of graduate school. Um, Dr. Fessa Ozturk, who again showed me a lot of things, but one of those was dedication to students and the willingness to spend as much time as necessary to help students achieve success. And finally, Dr. Michelle Stacy Doyle, who taught me, first of all, that it's possible to be tough in the classroom but still nurturing. Um, she is the person who got me involved in the student newspaper. Uh, this was incredibly important as a scientist. Seems surprising, but showing how important writing can be for any student, and that was really instrumental for me, and had the added benefit of um, introducing me to Jody Edgar Reinhardt, who was one of my closest friends. Um, all the other great friends I had at McKendry, very important. Um, in my life and making me who I am today. The one thing I have to say about faculty, I know as a student I did not appreciate fully how much their dedication to me as a student reflected on their family life and in fact their family being willing to accept that they had to sort of take second fiddle now and again and um, because of that I should thank my husband Craig and my three children, Camille, Nadine, and Hank, um, for sort of allowing me that pleasure. I have the best of both worlds because of it. So thanks to everyone and thanks to McKendry. <laughs> 